I uh, guessing the theme for the video? Uh, the theme for this video is how to use um, a jump is instruction in your programming. Um, for example, so basically, when you write a program, it, uh, the PLC pretty much scan from left to right down, left to right down. So it will basically go like that, and to the right, and down, and that one, and that one, then the next one. Uh, and just keep going left, right, down, left, right, down. So they have this instruction called the uh, jump instruction. And it doesn't matter if you're using the scenes or Alan Bradley or Alma. Uh, it just it's just a matter of how they use it. First, the software or manufacturers. Um, like it's kind of weird, but uh, for example, at Alma, when you say jump, it's pretty much in Omron term, they say it's a inverted version of Siemens and Alan Bradley jump instruction. So what jump means is whenever I made this uh, made this input true and I activate this jump, it's gonna pretty much skip whatever is below uh, this rung, which is this is network 15. And you see network 16 down here so it's gonna skip and it's gonna jump and go back to the label called auto zero so I placed the label down here on network 17 or run 17 so when I say jump it basically skips this one and it goes straight to 17 and start from here and go down so uh, I got another one uh, down here, so whenever this is true, I got an uh, auto one. This is basically it's a different label, and it's gonna skip network 20, and it's gonna skip all of this good stuff here, and it's gonna go straight to uh, network 21 with auto underscore one right here. So this is your uh, identity. Uh, identifier so it identify which section you want to jump to whenever you activate it and it's gonna keep on doing it as long as this is activated so uh, this will turn off whenever this turn off so <clears throat> I'll show you so uh, what you can use this for is you can have multiple programs in one main uh, block for example your main uh, OB um, Alan Bradley they got uh, they got the main OB they call it the controller OB uh, Siemens call it uh, OB1 um, so um, you can put multiple program or aka multiple recipe into one uh, one big old program without having to jump from block to block to block. Um, and all you do is just skip some logic. For example, automatic mode. Um, you know, on my little switch, when I switch it to automatic mode, um, I'll jump every individual mode uh, that I program. But when I switch to uh, individual mode, here I'll show you. When this comes on. It would be right here. And that comes on like that. So basically, now it's gonna do all my individual mode and all of my auto mode. All of my auto mode will pretty much be skipped now. So if you notice, this is not on anymore. So now it's not gonna jump. It's not going to skip this, it's going to pretty much continue on from here. But it will not run this auto no more because this only comes on whenever I say jump to that. 
so it basically just go from here and it will skip 17 so it'll, it'll just be the inverted version so it'll be the opposite of that so whatever you were jumping before on auto now when i switch it to uh individual mode or stepping mode whatever you want to call it it will just basically do the opposite so uh this is useful when you have uh, let's say you have stepping mode uh, manual mode and you have automatic mode so I'll show you on the factory IO so right here on my little screen I'll have multiple um, buttons I'll have this I'll have this uh, little switch here one goes to auto and one goes to uh, manual so auto here, and then right here, that will be my stepping mode. So this is the indicator, the blue indicator, and when I go here, be the green indicator. So uh, this is how it pretty much works. Let me turn off all this text. This is really annoying. So pretty much when I'm in auto mode, uh, I'll just basically press this green button one time and we'll just watch it run automatic and it'll just continue that over and over And on the PLC, you can see whenever I'm on the auto, uh, auto mode. So right here, when this is on. It basically never it never runs six, uh, run 16, and it only go on 17. See the same sensor, see that? Same sensor, <clears throat> same uh, address, except it just nothing's happening on 16. So you can pretty much use the same sensor but different output to activate a second function. For example, if you're automatic mode and you're uh, individual mode. So when I switch to when I switch to uh, what you call it individual mode, let's say right here, right there, right? It's gonna stop. Now I I add a little button where I have to step everything. So whenever I every time when I press step mode, it's gonna do it one step. See how it just stop? One more. It's, it's just gonna step mode. It's just gonna keep on doing. It's gonna wait until I actually press on it. Step mode again. One more. And that is the step mode. So back to automatic mode. So. So yeah, you know, um, that's pretty much how you use uh, jump functions and you can pretty much do multiple uh, uh, autom automation in one block just by jumping around the uh, program. And back to the uh, program, if you want to see the, uh, the function where I actually do the stepping, so right here is my individual sequence. I just want to show you the difference. So I have an individual sequence. Whenever I'm in auto mode, it won't ever run this part. But whenever I switch it off, the only difference is that you know it'll basically continue on, but 
right here this is my button whenever I press the button it's just uh, trigger one time so I'm still using all the same logic but I'm just basically adding a uh, or function meaning you know either I'm running auto mode or I'm running uh, my individual sequence which I have to press my button one time and it will still do the same function but instead it's with the button so learned this a lot in uh, at Denzo how the Japanese how they use um, jump function and you pretty much just copy and paste your automatic function and just use a different address and make that your which you call your uh, manual mode so yeah hope y'all learn uh, something neat um, I don't know if it's helpful but just thought y'all should know how to use auto mode and uh, manual mode in one block all right that's it <laughs>